Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGuardGuard.com. In this video, we will use the consolidate feature of Excel to combine data from different worksheets or even different workbooks into one. And I've got two examples of this feature in action. Now in example number one here, I have this summary sheet. It's just a blank sheet at the moment. And I'm looking at consolidating the data from the sheets called location one, location two, and location three. And if we have a look at these, it's a very basic kind of sales data example. I've got three months and I've got five products. And you'll notice on each sheet, they are an exact match with respect to the name of the products and the name of the months. And maybe this data has been exported from some kind of sales database or something. And this is how we've either received it um, or downloaded it. And what we'd like to do is combine it all together. And what the consolidate feature enables us to do is run a aggregate function on these. So I can combine them into a summary sheet and total up all these numbers. So let's have a look at this example. And then I've got another one to follow. Now I'll begin by clicking on a summary sheet and clicking the first cell where I want my consolidated data to appear. And I'll click on data at the top and consolidate on the far right. And this is what it will look like. I'm in Excel 2016, but this feature has not really changed over the years. The very first drop down list prompts you for the function to use. Now, I am going to stick with some. I do want to total uh, each of these figures. But you can see here we've got your, your main players, your sum count and average, and then uh, the usual mob really that you see in your pivot tables and your subtotal functions. And, uh, depending on what else you've used in, in Excel, you see them along the bottom a lot of these as well. I'm going to choose the sum function and then it will prompt me for the references. Now I've got three references, there could easily be more than that. I need to click in that reference box, click on my first sheet and highlight the data. And you can see it writes in there as an absolute reference. And I'll click the add button to move it into the all references area. Now if I now go to location two, you'll notice it writes that into the reference box. And these happen to be the exact same reference. So I can happily click on add, then jump to location three and click add again. If it was a different reference, I'd highlight it and you'll see that in a moment in my second example. So they don't have to be the exact same range. Please don't be misled by that yet. That's just how this example works. Now I'm going to tick the user labels in top row and left column here. I do have the months in the top row, the products in the left column, I want them to match up so it performs the total correctly. I've got the opportunity to create a link to the source data here. If the data on those three sheets change, the data on the summary sheet would automatically change if I tick that box. In my example, I'm assuming I don't need to because this is going to be fresh data in a different month uh, moving forward from today. And I'll assume that doesn't make sense right now in this scenario. I'll click OK. And there we have it. The data comes in 5208 for January product A. And if we have a quick look at the numbers, nearly 2,500, just over 2,683, you can see that it is a total of the three of them. If I wanted to, I could use my brilliant format painter to quickly replicate the format for the headers. And real soon, you can have that data from, from more than three sheets, could be multiple sheets could even be different workbooks you just open them up ready and follow the same procedure into one while performing a aggregate function i could have created a link to those sheets as well although i opted against it in this example and while i'm talking about that i'd like to mention that if i did go back to data and consolidate now it does retain your previous consolidate now that can be quite frustrating at times but you imagine, even if you didn't establish the link, it does make it very easy to, sorry, very easy to 
consolidate data again in the future if these ranges and your process are going to remain the same. Now, if I close that box, I want to jump to another sheet called overall scores. And this example is a little bit different. I wanted to show this on the video as well. I've got three sheets again. <laughs> doesn't have to be free. Uh, please believe me on that. <laughs> but here I've got three subjects. Got a bunch of uh, people who have taken an examination and their result. Now the three subjects are the same. Maths, English, Science and all three of my sheets. They could have been different. That's no problem. But the people are very different. None of these people are duplicated or replicated on the other score sheets. And indeed, they're different heights as well. They're slightly different ranges, which we'll see in a moment. Now, what I want to do is combine that data into one sheet. Now, it's not going to be like previous. I don't want to do any functions. Now, I'm literally just going to append the list on the bottom of the last one. It will be like me copying and pasting, you know, a few times, basically, is the end result. But you can imagine if this is 15 sheets, how much easier that will be especially if it's an ongoing process that you do a lot. So let me go to overall scores, data consolidate, and let's do another one. Now I do have to use a function. I know I said a second ago, I'm not, I'm not interested in any function, and I'm not. But because these people are different, if I just leave it as sum, it's not actually gonna sum anything. There's nothing to run with. I'm gonna click on my reference box, go to scores and grab the first range, there we go, down to row 25, add it in. Go to the next score sheet, which happens to be the same size, so I'll add that in. And then to the third score sheet, which is different. You can see, look at that, it's only about half the size of this one, it's much bigger. So let me go and highlight that. Different range set here, down to row 44, nearly twice the size. But that's not a problem, and that's part of what this demonstration is, is here for. Let me tick the boxes for top row left column again to bring those headers in. Not interested in linking it again. Let me click OK. And now it's a different scenario. Instead of summing and aggregating the values, I've literally appended the lists on the bottom of each other. There were, um, I think, 24 people in scores one, 24 in scores two, then about 43 in scores three, I think, uh, if I remember rightly, something like that. But you can see all the way down to row 93 here. This is everybody from each sheet, all summarized into one, all combined into one big list that I can tidy up now if I wish, using things like Format Painter or existing styles that you may have set up to save a bit of time potentially. And I have created that overall score sheet very quickly and easily. There are other features in Excel that you may already know or come across like VLOOKUP, Power Query, Macros. There are multiple ways of creating uh, this kind of merging or consolidating effect. This is a, a good old feature that's been around forever, still stays strong. You don't always need the really, really powerful stuff. You just want a quick combining tool and this is a friend of yours. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out some of the other video tutorials on our YouTube channel and come check us out at computergaga.com.